All right, welcome back into Pure Adrenaline Sports, everybody. This is John coming at you with live play-by-play and live reaction of the Philadelphia Flyers and Montreal Canadiens tonight. Thank you to everybody that came out for our first regular season baseball live stream. The Dodgers beat the Cardinals 7-1 to today. We'll be back with baseball tonight at 10, and then tomorrow a couple live streams as well. We already got some people hanging out here. Welcome in, everybody. Malik is here saying hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome in. We'll keep an eye. Oh, I didn't get a poll going. Let's get a poll going in the chat as well. Sorry about that. Running a little late here. Who will win tonight's NHL? <laughs> Overlord is here. What's up, Cam? I saw. I was keeping an eye on the Yankees. The Yankees completed that comeback and win game one against the Astros 5-4. to four. Uh, start poll. Uh, let's come over and get the chat going. We already got six people hopping in. We already got five likes on the stream. Thank you all so much. Malik, woohoo. Flyers better win this. <laughs> Cam saying go Canadians. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Malik, no. -uh. Cam also says there was a close call at home, but they called the runner out. I uh, hate both teams, but always happy to see the Astros lose. Hey, Ron Jeremy is here. What's up, Ron? Oh, I got the wrong thing up on screen here. Let me fix this. I want that. Oh, hold on. There we go. All right. Got that fixed now. Richie's here saying, my brother is the biggest disgusting Habs fan we better win this, among other reasons. Yep, among other reasons that the Capitals are only a point behind us. Uh, so we will. We will. Uh, let me go over and look at the standings. Actually, right now. Yep, Capitals are only one point behind us and have two games in hand. So, and they face Toronto tonight. So, like I said, we'll keep an eye on that. Malik, you can't do that. Only only I can do that. Oh, no, I guess. Never mind. I thought that was only set up for me. Never mind. There it is. Just got a notification. Fitzy will be live in a half hour, so hopefully he stops by. I didn't think it would work either, but it did. So there you go. Richie says, cheering for the Leafs for a change tonight. Yeah, we need the Leafs to show up tonight, right? It'll be Caden Primo uh, in the net here for the Habs and Arison in net tonight.
Yep, you see the countdown's gone. Today started uh, opening day. So, so baseball almost every day now until October sometime. They take a break for the All-Star break, uh, but that's it. Richie says, Habs goalie has been on fire as of late. I don't know too much about the Canadians. This is the second time these two teams have played. The Flyers won the first time in a shootout, 3-2. to two. Make sure I'm live here. Hopefully we have no internet issues like we had against the Rangers the other night. It was our eighth best live stream, uh, eighth best NHL live stream. And we complete, because of my uh, internet going out, we completely missed the second period. So we missed a third of the game. And you guys still showed up and we had one of our our, our best streams uh, of NHL games. So thank you all so much for the support. We'll keep an eye. The Sweet 16 is tonight as well, so we'll keep an eye on that. Visually speaking, tough to top the Flyers versus Habs. Uh, moment. Uh, great uniform contrasts. I have not seen. I do have this. I do have the pregame on, but I haven't seen what anybody's wearing tonight. Here we go. Now let me put this on. So the tracker is a little bit ahead of me. So no spoilers in the chat, please. All right, got it covered up, so I can't see the tracker. Watching the Leafs game and yours, uh, Flyer, Flyers for me is a blackout, so I'll keep everyone updated about the Caps. Margaret's here. What's up, Margaret? Saying have to make supper. Just popped in to say hi and let's go Flyers. We'll be back. Thank you so much, Margaret. All right, here we go. Face off at center ice. Frost will win it. Flyers get control here in their own end. Send it all the way down. Oh, the Habs in their reds. Flyers in their in their road whites. Uh, tip it behind the net here. Oh, leaves it there for Konechny. Comes out, looking, looking. Tries to center it to tip it, but it's blocked. Habs, Habs stepped that one out the center, but the Flyers have control here. C. Lee says, hey, everybody. Say, oh, save centering pass now here by the Flyers. Frost has got it. I'll get to see Lee's comment here in a second. Forrester high and wide on the shot. Forrester gets the loose puck behind the net. Uh, trips over in the corner so the Canadians will get to the loose puck. See, Lee says, hey, everybody, yahoo. <laughs> I have three-day weekend. Let's get started. Let's go. Hey, Bear Blitz is back. What's up? Saying nice. I believe Bear is a Chicago Cubs fan. Uh, Bear, does that make you, if you're a Cubs fan, are you also a Blackhawks fan? Canadians will get to the Flyers blue line and dump it in. Oh, loose puck here. Habs get to it. 
uh, shot wide. Johnson gets the loose puck for the Flyers behind the net and skates out. Losing it behind the net here. So the Canadians get to the loose puck. Indeed. Awesome. Welcome in. I know you stopped in our baseball stream before. Shot. That one's blocked. Flyers blocked that one. Up oh, at the Habs. Keep it in. Centering pass. Centering pass deflected by the Flyers. And Brink will get it out to center house. Center ice, excuse me. And they'll dump it all the way down by Farabee. But the Canadians get it again and head up to center ice. And now into the flyer end. Oh, that should be a penalty on the Flyers. Oh, they're not going to call it. Should have been a penalty on the Flyers for tripping. A bunch of guys, both both teams just tripped the player. Nothing called on either end. Oh, blocked by Atkinson here. White has it here for the Canadians. And now the Flyers will get to it and dump it out to center right. Lixell giving chase, but the Canadians get possession. And we'll head back up ice. Shot saved by Harrison. Puck loose out front. See, Lee says, how many games are you streaming tomorrow, John? Two games tomorrow. I'm doing the Mets and Brewers at 1.30, and then the Yankees and Astros at 8 o'clock. Tip it. Oh, tried to center it, but intercepted. Here come the Habs again. The shot, save Harrison. Rebound. Forster not able to clear. See the thanks for doing the Astros. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's because it's uh, it's it's the um, Apple TV game. So I want I like to cover those games on Friday night if I don't get the Mets. Uh, but since the Mets are playing at one thirty, I figured I'd do it. Because a lot of people don't pay for Apple TV. So Hathaway back up the other way. It's one on one. Forrester. Uh, and here come the Habs clearing it back out the center ice. Back into the flyer end. Neither team really getting set up yet. Montreal leads two to one in shots. Oh, that's icing on the Flyers as it goes all the way down. 1459 to go here in the first. A lot of action here. That's not what I want. I want this. Awesome stuff. We're up to eight, uh, nine likes already on the stream. Thank you all so much. Oh, Canadians not able to keep it in, so they have to clear the zone. Oh, but the Flyers turn it over. Adder brings Faraby. He'll just dump it in and give chase. Hey, people, what's up, Fitzy? CD says, come on, Flyers. Isn't this an important game for the Flyers? Yes, it is. Only have a one-point lead for that third third-place spot. And that one goes all the way down, and this will be icing on the Canadians. Yep, Flyers still sitting in third with 82 points, nine games remaining. But Detroit is, or uh, Washington is only one point back, uh, but with two games in hand. 
Hey, Dwayne is here. What's up, Dwayne? Johnson the shot, a save. Couturier gets the loose puck. Back out to Johnson. Oh, oh, that's, that comes off the moorings. We get a whistle here. Dwayne says, just enjoying the stream. Thank you so much. And the Habs win that. And we'll clear it out to center ice. York gets to it. Oh, Flyers turn it over here at center ice. And the Habs just dump it in and we'll go for a change as York goes back to get it. Flyers unable to clear it here. York will flip it up and out to center ice. Right here. Canadians dump it in, but not enough for icing. The penalty is called. We'll see who it was on. Nobody had possession of the puck. Montreal penalty, 13-13 to go. So the Flyers will go to the main advantage. C. Lee says it would be nice for the Flyers to win with a blowout for a change, right? Every game is close, right? But that ended that seven-game stretch of playing teams that were better than them. So, uh, unfortunately, out of the possible 14 points, they only got six. So... Uh, but now they go a seven-game stretch with teams with uh, worse records than them. So hopefully they can turn that around here. Yeah, too close. Excuse me, man. What am I looking for here? Why did I get rid of that? Let's go over and look. Gamecast. Let's put that game on as well. All right, over on this screen, I got the Capitals and Leafs game up, so I can keep an eye on that one as well. I'll have to check at commercial break, so. Oh, hold on. I know what I was looking for. I know what I was looking for. Connecty, Paling, Frost, Brink, and York on the ice for the Flyers. Paling, uh, the Habs win the draw. Then we'll flip it all the way down. Flyers still last in the power play. Uh, Flyers, they say, are on side, but they... Send it out back towards the blue line, and it goes all the way back to their own end. 130 left on the advantage. York drops it back, and connecting will head up ice. Brink. Centering pass. Frost, the shot. 
Uh, connect the digging for it. Gets it back out the frost. York keeps it in. Over to Brink. Back out to York. Over to Frost. Skates down low to Konechny. The centering pass is deflected wide. Palin gets to the loose puck. Oh, but flipped it right to a Canadian player, and they'll flip it all the way down. 50 seconds left on the advantage. 12 minutes left in the going here in the first. Ferby gives chase. Oh, and I hopped over a flyer stick. Oh, but the flyers are able to keep it in. Lawton, the wrister saved by Primo, and he holds. Got my Mets stuff on today. Of course, we didn't play. Ferby comes away with the puck and steps out front, and it's poke checked away. And the Canadians will clear it all the way down. Just 20 seconds left to remain. Forrester backhand and it stays in play. Where is it here? And they'll clear it all the way down. That'll, that'll end the power play. Flyers have it here in their own end. Head up ice. Excel. Shot is blocked. Oh, Terrier fell down. Caulfield. Habs. Nice centering pass. Defle deflected by the Flyers. Atkinson back in the lineup tonight. Uh, Flyers flip it all the way down to the Montreal end, but not enough for icing. 10 10 to go here in the first. Struble will send it down low behind the Flyer net. Tried to center one. Here we go. Habs putting on some pressure here. Harris looking. The shot is deflected wide. That's going to be Armia now with the puck. Sends it down low. Frost. The shot goes wide at Erickson, but the Habs keep it in. Yeah, I don't know. He, he comes in here and puts that all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> you said you were. Flyers tip that one all the way down, so no icing. Uh, Hathaway tips that one down. Anderson will send that one down and go for a change. York goes back to get it, and the Flyers will head up ice. Oh, we have a penalty back behind the play. Interference, Sandheim's going to go, so Montreal will get their first power play. Luke says, I don't know. I just feel like I have to spread my wings and fly.
Let's see here. Hey, Richie's back saying one nothing Leafs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. When we get back here, Montreal will go to the man advantage. Still scoreless. We got 10 likes on the stream already. Thank you all so much for hitting that thumbs up. Really appreciate you all. We have 10 votes in the poll. 70% saying Flyers, 10% Canadians, and 20% hoping for a great game. This has been a fast-moving period. Not a lot of... Uh, Stoppages. All right, baseball games that have gone final. The Orioles beat the Angels 11-3. Tigers beat the White Sox 1-0. Twins beat the Royals 4-1. Yankees beat the Astros 5-4. Padres beat the Giants 6-4. Dodgers beat the Cardinals in a game we did here on this channel, uh, 7-1. Blue Jays beat the Rays 8-2. And the Reds beat the Nationals 8-2. Brewers and Mets were rained out. We'll play tomorrow, and Braves and Phillies as well. Right now, they're in the middle of the 12th inning. The Pirates have a 6-5 to five lead over the Marlins. Let's see here. I don't know about that. They just showed the penalty. I don't know about that. <laughs> but it was called, so Sandheim sits. Flyers get it, and we'll dump it all the way down. He most stops it, but then he dumps it behind the net. Flyers are third in the NHL on the uh, penalty kill, and Montreal's 25th on the power play. Offside is the call here as the Montreal tried coming in. 7.58 at the time of the whistle, 136 left to go in the advantage. Face off just outside the Flyers' blue line here. And they'll win the draw and dump it all the way down. And the Flyers are able to clear that all the way down. 110 left to go in the advantage. Uh, Sealer and Drysdale have be have begun skating, so that's good news for the Flyers' defense. All right, here come the Habs. 54 seconds left on the advantage. Suzuki out to Caulfield. Matheson down low, and they score. Nice passing there. one nothing Habs. Let's see. Oh, that's interference. That wasn't called. Oh well. You still gotta get you still gotta turn around and play defense. Still gotta turn around and play defense and not stand there and complain to the officials. Yeah, that's not cool. Not good. Agreed, Seeley. Thirtieth goal of the year for Suzuki. Let's 
Train saying, come on, let's go. Connecty better be careful here. So so chirping at the official. Oh, now the Flyers are called for offside here. Hmm. Well, get another window open here. Got to get our, our boy Fitzy up in between periods. We'll go over to Fitzy's channel while he's streaming. Remember, channel points Channel points for everybody that goes over. Fitzy says, as much as I hate to say it, I also want the Maple Leafs to win tonight. That'll be icing on the Habs. 624 to go. Get another thing going here so I can get Fitzy's stream up. Fitzy will be doing San Diego State and UConn Sweet 16 matchup. Then we'll be doing the Red Sox game tonight. Good night. Hey, what's up, Charles? Welcome back. I just smashed that like button. Thank you so much, Charles. Play is offside again for the Flyers. Now we're getting now we're getting a bunch of whistles. As soon as I said something about it, it was flying by because there was no whistles. Now we're, <laughs> that's all we're getting now. See, he says, well, certainly Thomas wants the Flyers to win. Charles saying, let's go Flyers. That one sent all the way down. Habs are on side. Oh, but they turned it over. That one sent all the way down. This will be icing on the Flyers. Charles says, NHL action. It's fantastic on Pure Adrenaline Sports Network. Charles, as always, welcome in. Thank you, as always, for the kind words. Gallagher, that shot is high and wide. And the Flyers will clear it out to center ice, but Montreal sends it right back in. Turnover for the Flyers behind their own net. Sandheim will get to it now. And he'll bank it up, but not out. Gallagher's there for the Habs. Blocked, and the Flyers will get it out to center ice. And we'll just dump and go for changes. Couturier comes back in, uh, tries to get it to Lexell, but he's tied up. Atkinson's got it now down low. But the Cabs will get it and come up to center ice. Charles says, Pure Adrenaline Sports Network, setting the standards in live streaming broadcast on the YouTube social media platform. CB says, it's been a while since we've had a weather report. We have not gotten one for this stream. We did get one for the Dodger game. Charles said, let's go. See, Charles, everybody's looking forward to your weather updates. Only seven shots here with four minutes to go in the first period. And the Habs lead one nothing on the scoreboard. Forrester. Paling brings it in. Holds. Tries to center it, but blocked up into the corner. Uh, 
fight for it here at Center Ice. Canadians come away with it. Peel back here as they wait for changes. See, Lee says it is paradise. Oh, uh, here comes Suzuki, drops it off. Harris, Suzuki, save Harrison the rebound, they score. It's 2 nothing Habs. Charles says, weather update from Nassau, Bahamas, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, winds from the southeast at 12 miles an hour, Expect, expected low temperature of 74 degrees. We're expecting some rain. And Dwayne says, that sucks, yep. Hey, the Flyers know what's at stake here, and if they want to play like complete garbage... Unbelievable that the Flyers haven't been able to get anything going on offense against one of the worst teams in the league. Added, and that one's turned over. Flyers have control at center ice here. Cooper's here saying, I was just there a few months ago. Anderson brings it in for the Habs. Centering pass, saved by Anderson, and he covers. 2.45 to go. We get a TV timeout here. Fitzy's live, so we'll go over there during the intermission. Cooper, welcome in once again. Uh, let us know if you're a fan of one of these two teams or if you're just stopping in because you saw a live stream. C. Lee says 13 thumbs up on the stream. Let's go. Cooper says he's got 50 bucks on Montreal. Nice. All right, guys, just waiting in. Still not back from commercial here. All right, let me turn Fitzy's stream down so I don't hear him. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Hathaway will step into this face-off circle. And the Flyers will win the draw and head up ice. It's two on two. Forrester. They say it's onside. They looked offside, but Habs get control anyway. Hathaway intercepts that. Drops it off to York to Paling. Back to York. Tried to center it, but deflected into the corner. Johnson the shot, save Primo, and he holds. 
Big scrum now in front of the net. Habs win the draw, and we'll flip it out to center ice. Flyers send it back. Konechny. Oh, had to hop over his stick, and the Canadians get it. Yeah, uh, just long, just long breaks here, Seeley. That's because they had like no breaks like the first twelve minutes of the period. So now they're trying to get them all in now. Tip it. He'll dump that one in. One thirty left to go here in the first. Two nuts and Habs. Matheson's on side. Nice centering pass. The shot blocked. And the Flyers will get to the loose puck. Tip it. Added over skates. They would have been offside. Adder comes in. Oh, dumps it into the corner. Final minute of this period. Centering front uh, blocked. Atkinson gets to the puck. Nice move. Atkinson back over to the corner. Couturier comes in. McSell's behind the net here. 35 seconds. Uh, the Habs get it and will dump it out the center. Oh, Flyers almost had too many men on the ice. 20 seconds left here in the pecking, uh, in the period. See these is okay. Yeah. Sorry. Just they went into the hab zone or into the Habs bench. 3.4 left on the on the clock. Yeah, got to be much better in the second period. Flyers have to come out with a lot more, about a lot better piece of play in the second, too. Oh, they added a, a little bit of time, 5.2. So you got to win the faceoff here. It's got to be quick. And Montreal wins the draw. Puck is still loose. And that'll be the end of the first period. And now we have a big scrum behind the net. Anderson's in there. Sanheim back in there. Brink's in there. Evans peeling off Sanheim. Farabee's in there. Most fight the Flyers shown all period is after the period's over.
So let's take a look at the stats here after the first period. Uh, Canadians win in shots the first period, six to four. Oh, let me come over and get my stat numbers as well. 75 views in the first period. That's awesome. Uh, eight hits apiece. Canadians win 10 to eight on the faceoff. Uh, Canadians are one for one on the power play. Flyers are 0 for one. Block shots. Flyers lead seven to four there. All right, guys. Let me get Fitzy's Fitzy stream information here. We'll go over there, and once again, we'll give anybody points that goes over. And I got I got Fitzy's stream up, so I'll see who's over there. Let me turn Fitzy up so I can hear him. Let's look at the hockey scores. Yeah, let's go Bug Thomas, exactly. Uh, the Maple Leafs still lead one nothing after one. The Senators lead the Blackhawks 2-0. Islanders and Panthers are 1-1 after 1. Blue Jackets and Penguins scoreless after 1. Red Wings and Hurricanes uh, scoreless 12 and a half to go in the first. Yeah, that was a quick period. I mean, we're going to start the second period before 8 o'clock Eastern time. And that never happens. All right, Charles is over there. C. Lee is over there. He's saying it's a raid from PAS. So I'm sorry, everybody that's still here listening to Fitzy stream right now. So far, only Charles and C. Lee have said anything over there. So we do have a channel point system where we do give out a thousand channel points to anybody that goes over. Pirates beat the Marlins.
Oh, hold on. I think somebody's knocking at the door. Hold on. about that. Okay, let me go over and check to see who else was over there. C. Lee and Charles, that's it. All right, you guys both got your points. Our stream numbers have been good, but we haven't seen some of our regulars yet tonight. Malik was here for a couple seconds talking about, about being a bird. But Besides that, how to get some snacks. Unsponsored, by the way. Unsponsored snacks. Handicaps. Cheddar cheese fries. Unsponsored. <laughs> Would you like some? No? Or cheddar cheese? They're just little sticks. See, Lee said he just flew away. <laughs> he did. He talked about being a bird. <laughs> That's fine, see, Lee. Made me laugh. That's another 500 points for see, Lee.
So waiting for the second period to start here. Yep. Action's fantastic here on Pure Zone Sports Network. Yep. Thank you, Charles. Charles says, please like, share, invite, subscribe for person to be part of this powerful stream broadcast. Well, let me go to NHL.com and see how much time's left here in the intermission. Just under five minutes to set uh, to go here in the intermission. Mm. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they don't start the intermission clock until they clear the ice, because they had they had that uh they had that scrum after the whistle. Charles says, Pure Adrenaline Sports Network, the leader in sports talk with professional commentary and outstanding play-by-play. -play. That's why, with all the nice comments from Charles all the time, that's why That's why when we have the first Pure Adrenaline Pure Sports get-together, it's going to be in the Bahamas at Charles's house. All right, they're coming back here. Let me turn Fitzy's stream back down. Make sure nobody else was over there. See Lee, Charles. Nope, just you guys. That's all right. I gave you guys your points. So let's see, see if the Flyers can get back into this one to get everybody coming back in. Charles says the Pure Adrenaline Sports Network family, all are welcome to come over to the Bahamas. Pack your bags. <laughs> We're going. You want to come over and say hi to everybody? No. <laughs> they know I'm talking to somebody, unless they think I'm crazy and just talking. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you who I'm talking to. There. That's who I'm talking to, everybody. Maybe hi. Maybe hi. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, if we go, yeah, absolutely. It might be yours, though, uh, Seeley. It might be yours. All right, getting ready to start the second period here, everybody. 13 likes on the stream after the first period. 13 votes in the poll as well. 62% say in Flyers. 23% say in Habs. Oh, that just changed. 14 votes. It's now 57-29. 57-29 and 14% hoping for a great game. Let me... Man. Don't eat salty snacks when trying to live stream. How about that? Let's see. Uh, make sure I got my baseball thing set up. Let's look. Yep. All right. Perfect. Winners never quit and quitters never win. We're showing the Montreal skyline. You ever been to Montreal? I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can always adjust my sail to reach my desired destination. What if the wind's not blowing? Yep, Montreal, Quebec, Canada is where this game is being played. I asked the wife if she had ever been there. She said no. Hmm. Fact here, uh, Flyers broadcast said in the earlier game this year that they played in January, the Canadians also jumped out to a 2 nothing lead in that game. But the Flyers won that one 3-2. to So we'll see. Let's go. Agree, agree with the Flyer announcer here. You got to up the emotion here. It's play. You got nine games left in the regular season. It, you got to kick it up a notch here. Uh, is it, it going to be four on four? Or there's a guy. Yeah, it's four on four here to start the second period. All right, here we go. Flyers come up through center. Connect me. That's bound uh, centering it. Oh, it takes it back out to center ice here. Frost over to Sandheim. Brian, Brian Pearson's here. Shot is wide into the corner. It says, do you think the Flyers will make the playoffs? I your honest, honest opinion. Yes, I do. Uh, but I think it'll be a wild card spot. So they're, they're either going to have to play Boston or the Rangers in the first round. Saved by Erson.
Oh, here come the Habs back the other way. Three on two. They just dump it down behind the net. Johnson's there. Zamula goes over to get the puck. Johnson can't clear it. The shot is sent wide to Harrison. It's a two-on-one for the Flyers the other way. Tip it. Oh, I couldn't. The backhand save there by Primo. Tip it and Struble back behind the net going after each other. Says Brian says, are you a baseball fan, sir? Yes, I am. I am a New York Mets fan. Uh, they were rained out today, so didn't get to do that one today. Uh, did the Mets or did the Cardinals and Dodgers game? And I will be doing the Diamondbacks and Rockies game after this game is over. All right, we got another four. We get more four on four action here. Both guys called for rough. One guy called for roughing. One guy called for cross checking. Uh, Brian, it was a it was a tough day, man. It was a tough day. Uh, stays four on four. Oh, Flyers win the draw, and we get a a whistle right off the draw. Thank you, Brian. Really appreciate that. Here comes Montreal. Oh, the pass intercepted by York, and they come up the other way. It's three on three back the other way, paling. Oh, York tried to center it, but here come the Canadians. Saved by Erson, the puck's loose. The Flyers get to it, but unable to clear. Do you think... Uh, the Flyers have it in them to win the Stanley Cup this year. Not this year. Not this year. Still need another goaltender and some more help on defense. It'll be better if the Flyers win. Pass across, man, Habs. Oh, deflected wide in front of Harrison. Once again, Flyers not able to clear. Tried to spring Farabee, but sends it all the way down. Atkinson gets to it, back behind the net. Adderd stopped it. Where's the puck here? And the Habs dumping in. 16.30 to go here in the second. Oh, Farabee brings it in onside. Brink, oh, tried to make a man miss. Johnson keeps it in at the point and sends it down low. Lawton lets it go. Zamula centering pass, blocked into the corner. Suzuki behind everybody. Erson comes out and plays it. Good job by Erson. Mixell over to Johnson. He'll dump in. And the Flyers give chase. Suda Duck says, even if the Flyers choke this season, at least there's hope next year and still believe they're going to turn it around to lose in round one or two. I think they'll lose in round one. It's going to be a tough matchup. No matter if they get the wild card or don't get the wild card. If they finish third, we have to play Carolina. We do not play very well against Carolina. I 
All right, 15.25 to go here in the second. Habs play that one down. York's got it, and it's stolen there. Gallagher back behind the net. Armia back in, over in the corner. Back to Gallagher. He goes up the other way. Gallagher comes out. Centering pass. And the Flyers get it and will head up ice. But they turn it over at center ice. Batting by Jinning. Oh, but the Habs play it, so no uh, hand pass. No icing here. Arison will play it. But right to a Canadian. Centering pass goes all the way through. Jinning. The Flyers will get it now. Uh, Richie says two to one now, Leafs. Good. Good, good. Hopefully the Flyers can get this turned around here. Flyers cannot get anything going offensively. That's going to be a penalty on the Flyers for tripping. Primo to the bench. Extra attacker on the ice here. <clears throat> Until the Flyers can touch up. Oh, Atkinson falls down. Anderson can't play that cleanly. Backhands it around, and the Flyers will finally touch. 13-20 to go, but the Habs go to the man advantage again. Wait, the, it says the Cubs are winning one nothing, but don't have any base hits. Oh, there it is. Now it does. <laughs> Let's see what happened in baseball today. The Orioles beat the Angels eleven to three. Tigers beat the White Sox one nothing. Twins beat the Royals four to one. Yankees beat the Astros five to four. Pirates beat the Marlins six to five. Padres beat the Giants six to four. Dodgers beat the Cardinals 7-1, game we did here on the channel. Blue Jays beat the Rays 8-2, and the Reds beat the Nationals 8-2 as well. Mets and Brewers were postponed till tomorrow, as well as the Braves and Phillies. Laddard's the one that's going for tripping. Let's take a look here. Yeah, the Leafs up two to one. Let's see. Oh, Adder, they just showed it. He tripped. He tripped them. Stick in between the legs. Going to get called every time. Oh, yeah, look at Suzuki every year. To goal total goes up every season. 26 all of last year. He's already at 30 this year with about 10 games to go. Canadians win the draw, but it goes all the way back down to their end.
the Flyers are a team that's in the top five in shots per game, uh, usually getting about 34 or 35 shots per game, and they only have seven tonight. So I don't know if they just can't get anything going or if the Habs are playing good defense. And here they come. Oh, offside. Canadians are offside at the line. 126 left to go on the advantage. I forgot to check this at the start of the second period. All right, here we go. Habs bring it in. Suzuki's got it. Over to Slavoski. Caulfield's got it, looking. 50, 50 seconds left on the advantage. Matheson brings it in. The centering pass is wide. York to steal. Tries to spring Lawton, but it's past him and goes all the way down. 35 seconds left to go on the advantage. Nice four check there. They have to dump it back down. 25 seconds as they start heading up ice. Gallagher, Gallagher picks the puck up. Jinning knocks it away. Johnson over to Jinning, and he'll clear. That should take care of the advantage. Five seconds left. Now let's see if the Flyers can get anything going on offense. Johnson's got it here for the Flyers in their own end. We'll flip it out to center. But too far. Habs come right back. Savard. So, uh, snared by Erson, and he'll just hold for a whistle, calming everything down here. Checking the scoreboard. The Panthers lead the Islanders two to one. And the Maple Leafs still with that 2-1 to one lead over the Caps. Carolina and Detroit scoreless after one. So we want Florida, Toronto, and Carolina to win all those matchups. Torch yelling at somebody on the bench. Yelling at one of his own players, not the officials this time. So, Sealer, if you haven't heard, Sealer and um, Drysdale have started skating. So, uh, hoping to get those guys back soon here. Frost comes in. Frost gets it back. The, the centering pass is blocked. Tippett fighting for it here. Farabee's got it. Tries to give it to Tippett. And it's sent all the way down. It will be icing. 10-17 left to go here in the second period. Frost sent that one across, and Primo had to make two saves on it. York's got it. Sandheim now. Back behind the net. Comes out the other side. Spins back. And he's pinched off the board there. Hathaway. Forrester with a shot that's blocked. Able to keep it in, though. But the Flyers can't get control here. 9.45 to go here in a second. Just past the midway point of regulation.
And here come the Canadians. Nope, they just get to the zone and dump. But get to the loose puck behind the net. This shot there by Evans is high and wide. Savard. Evans. Uh, Erickson will glove it and hold on again. It's been about four minutes of play since the Flyers have had a shot. The J-Man, what's up? What's up, J-Man? Tampa Bay playing tonight? No, you're right. They beat Boston last night, I think, 3-1. to one. Not tonight. J Man says not tonight. Uh, play on Saturday, and yes, we beat Boston. Let's go. Let's look at the standings here. With 10 games to go, you guys are still 10 points out. Actually, 12 points out from Boston. Richie says, is it not one of the worst half of games the Flyers have played this year? Yes, agreed, Richie. J-Man says, hopefully the Flyers can come back. Yeah, I hope so. Yes, let's go. Richie with some good news. Three to one leaves. I still need the fly guys to come back and start getting things going here. That one played into the corner by Primo. Sent all the way around the other way. Johnson keeps it in. Backhands it behind the net. Frost has got it. He stops. And he falls down. Nope. Not does. Habs will send it back behind the net and we'll look to move up. And here they come into the flyer end. Suzuki holds. Looking. He'll just dump it down low. Caulfield sends it back behind the net. Zabul is there. Now Frost. Lawton. Oh, it checked. There's... And uh, the Canadian puts it up. The Flyers will go to the uh, advantage. J-Man says, maybe we can catch up to Toronto so they can move down to the wild card spot. Yeah, what is that? Oh, you're two points back. Oh, but they have a game in hand, so that stinks. So the Flyers go to the man advantage again. And the Flyers are going on the Pico See if they can get anything going here. Down two. 8.09 left to go in the second. It's Frost, Konechny, Paling, Brink, and York. And the Habs win the draw, and we'll clear it. Not, uh, only at the center ice, though. And so we move to third in the division. 
I'm watching the game right now. Frost has got it now. Over to York. Down to Brink. Back out to York. Back over to Frost. Looking. Down low to Konechny. Looking. Looking. Skates the shot. And no one's deflected wide. And York skates right by the loose puck. And Canadians send it all the way down. 110 left to go in the advantage. Come up through center ice here. A minute to go on the advantage. Lawton. Zamula. Back over to Lawton. Back out to Zamula. The wrists are deflected. Puck is loose. Where is it? Forrester, Forrester tried getting it. Uh, Zamula keeps it in. Frost now. Oh. Puck bounces right to a Canadian, and they clear it all the way down. 27 seconds left on the advantage. Forrester brings it up. He's on side. Frost. Back out to Zamula. Over to Sanheim. Down low. Back out to Zamula. Over to Farabee that comes in. Blocked. Zamula gets the loose puck. Shot is blocked in front. Forrester will dump it down behind the net. The angle. And Montreal gets to the rebound. Power play is over. Six minutes to go here in the second. Still 2 nothing Habs. Uh, that one deflected by York. Flyers. Still turning the puck over in their own end here. Save there by Harrison. Puck still loose. Canadians get to it. That one deflected wide. Struble. The Flyers will flip it out to center ice. All the way down. Not enough for icing. Five minutes to go here. Failing the shot. Oh, deflected wide. Primo might have gotten a piece of that. 5.04 to go as we get a timeout. Halftime there at one of the uh, Sweet 16 games, UConn has a 40-31 to 31 lead over San Diego State. Uh, Arizona and Clemson, uh, four minutes into the second half, tied at 43. Still tonight, Alabama and North Carolina and Illinois and Iowa State. Uh, top of the fourth, the Cubs lead the Rangers 1-0. NBA tonight, only two games going on, the Celtics and the Hawks. Let me refresh, make sure we got proper scoring here. Uh, Celtics lead 55-53, to a little over two minutes ago in the first half. And the Pelicans lead the Bucks 22-19, to two minutes to go in the first quarter. Four forty nine to go in that Maple Leafs Capitals game. Uh, maybe Toronto still leads three to one there. That's good news for the Flyers, but doesn't really matter when you're losing to the Canadians.
Malik's back saying still two nothing. Yep. Flyers win the draw. Sent them the law in behind the net. Uh, stick checked away there. Zamula keeps it in. Johnson back to Zamula. He skates towards the middle. Gives it back to Johnson. Turns. Still looking. Zamula keeps it in. Oh, the tip is just wide. Flyers are offside. Flyers are offside here. Fine, connected with a big hit in the corner. <laughs> Shoulder to shoulder, so no issue there. He got up smiling. <laughs> Canadians win the draw. Send it all the way down to the flyer's end, but it was tipped, so no icing. Canadians get the pot. York brings it in. Puck loose. It's bouncing around. Flyers get to the loose puck here in the corner. Frost. Oh, lost it. Scaliger the other way. It's a three on two for the Habs. Oh, Struble sends it wide. Play it around the net here. Flyers get to it. See, Lee says, took a shower, thinking we'd score, but nope. Pass ahead. Okay, tip by Farabee, so no icing. Hailing. Oh, but the Habs get it out the center ice. Oh, we have a whistle here. Oh, hand pass. 310 to go here in a second. Flyers finally starting to get, get some chances here, just not being able to put one in. Canadians win the draw. Three minutes to go. It's a two-on-one for the Flyers as they come up the other way. Fair be the shot, say Primo. Back to Faraby. All the way over across to Johnson. Out to Zamula. Holds, holds, looks. And now he's out of room. Atkinson tries to get it in front, but blocked there. And the Habs clear it out the center. Evans will dump it into the Flyers end. Two minutes to go here in the second. Flyers just dump it all the way down.
Down low, loose puck. Uh, Canadians get to it. Centering pass. Gooley. Uh, Canadians keep it in. Oh, nice save by Harrison. The rebound is thrown wide. Last minute of play in the second period. The J-Man says, hope the Kings can beat Detroit. Yeah, me too. That one flipped out. Not all the way down, so the King, or, uh, Canadians have to play it. 35 seconds left as they head up ice. Caulfield all the way around. Harris. Off iron. Oh, man, it was almost 3 nothing. Suzuki comes flying in. Struble. Five seconds left. Caulfield. And deflected wide, that'll end the second period. It's it's still two nothing Montreal. C Lee saying hit the like, everyone. Thank you, C Lee. Let's see what the shots are here. Fourteen to thirteen. So the Flyers outshoot them 10-7 to 7 that period. A nice flurry late. Let's see what happens. Here we go again. Taking 10 minutes to get off the ice after the period's over. Flyers show more fight after the period's over than they do during the 20 minutes. Yep, see the asking everybody to hit that like. We do have 15 likes on the stream. All right, while we're in intermissions, we'd like to go over to our buddy Thomas Fitzpatrick's channel. Go over, tell him PAS sent you over. Let me get the link there in the chat. Make sure you hit the thumbs up over there for Fitzy as well. He's covering March Madness tonight. And then at 10 o'clock, I know he's doing the uh, Red Sox and Mariners game. Let me check. He started the night at 982 subs. We'll see where he's at. Now up to 984. So anybody that goes over gets 1,000 channel points. So only had two people go over. <laughs> Not put on their cologne. Carolina leads Detroit 1-0. Uh, yep, Islanders have a 3-2 lead. Columbus and Pittsburgh tied at 2. Ottawa leads Chicago 2-0. Let me go back over to Fitzy stream to see if anybody went over.
All right, see Lee's over there. See Lee's the only one over there. Our numbers dropped by eight, but see Lee's the only one chatting it up. Let me go over to NHL.com because it tells you how much time is left in the intermission. 12.52. Uh, let's see. In March Madness, Clemson leads Arizona 49-47 with 12 minutes to go. Getting ready to start the second half between UConn and San Diego State. MLB. All right. 21 total home runs today hit so far in Major League Baseball. Uh, Michael Conforto. Uh, hit a solo shot. O'Neill Cruz, a solo shot. Edward Olivares for Pittsburgh with a solo shot. Eddie Rosario for the Nats, a two-run homer. Oswaldo Cabrera, a solo home run for the Yankees. Cedric Mullins, a three-run homer. Vladimir Guerrero, a uh, solo home run. Kevin Biggio. Paul Goldschmidt, Nick Martini from Cincinnati with a three-run homer. Freddie Freeman with a two-run shot. George Springer with a home run. Mookie Betts. Uh, that was Mookie Betts' second home run of the year. Martini. Wait. He's hit two. Trout hit one. Santander. Oh, yeah. There's Martini again. Martini hit two today. The first one was 405 feet, and the other one was 389 feet, both off of Josiah Gray. Just under 10 minutes to go in intermission. Cubs and Rangers are tied up at one now in the top of the fifth. Ace. See these backs as well. Two on the first day. Yeah. Let me give see these points. Nobody's been going over. There you go, C. Lee. Gave me your points. Let me go back over to Fitzy Stream and see if anybody else is over there. Orioles Bird Watcher is over there. Pool is over there. Pool, no matter where Pool goes, popcorn in the chat. When he was here, he put popcorn in the chat. When he's on Fitzy Stream, he does. Oriole Bird Watcher, he does. And permanently, uh,
Dwayne's over there. I'll give Dwayne some points as well when he comes back in. <clears throat> Let me make sure I'm live on Fitzy's stream. Yep. Hey, Margaret's back. What's up, Margaret? How was supper? Then what'd you have? What'd you make? Let's check in on the intermission. Still seven and a half minutes to go in the, in the intermission. <laughs> you don't know that, Seeley. You don't know that. intermission live we got 15 votes or 15 likes on the stream we got 19 votes in the poll see Lee says i'm having ribeyes tomorrow we're all going over to see these house tomorrow huh ribeyes Good, just made ham, ham steaks with baked potatoes and cold claw. Now I need to know, how do you make your coleslaw? C. Lee says it's four ninety nine a pound. <laughs> Mark says, I'll be there. Let's go. Yep, four ninety nine a pound. Cost me more to get there than it will be to eat it. Let's look at team stats here. 14 to 12 in shots. So change that back to a six. <laughs> You're welcome to come to Sealy. I'll pick poke I'll pick Pokey up on the way. Easy uh easy Great green cabbage and carrots add dressing, nothing fancy. Four minutes left to go in the intermission yet. We'll be live again tonight after the flyer stream. We have the Rockies and Diamondbacks tonight. Well, I was wondering, because some people make coleslaw, some people make it with like uh, dressing or vinegar, and some people use mayonnaise. Because I'm a fan of coleslaw, I'll eat it either way. Dwayne is back. What's up, Dwayne? 
Let me give Dwayne his points for going over to Fitzy's stream. All right, there you go, Dwayne. Thank you so much for supporting Fitzy. I hope when you guys go over there, you either hit the thumbs up or subscribe to Fitzy. But Charles says, uh, I'm having some rice and peas with mac and cheese. Charles has a lot of mac and cheese, I think. Broiled chicken breast, boiled cabbage, delicious. Charles saying, let's go flowers. Dwayne says, getting hungry from the chat. That is one thing about our chat. We always get back to food. I just buy the bottles uh, easier. I love cooking. Might one day try from scratch. I will go like his video always do. Thank you. Minute 20 left to go in regular in, uh, intermission. Excuse me. Let me go check on Fitzy. Fitzy 16 subs away from that thousand mark. I think when I found Fitzy, uh, I think he had like 50 followers. And we might have had like 700 or something like that. Let me turn Fitzy's stream down as we get back to our coverage. So, uh, 17 likes on the stream. Thank you all so much. CD telling uh, Margaret should start a cooking channel. UConn starting to pull ahead of San Diego State now, 47 to 35. 16 minutes to go there. Number six, Clemson beating number two, Arizona. Just under eight minutes to go there.
All right, still waiting for the third period to start here. Sorry, guys. Got lost in the fog there for a minute. Well, let me turn Fitzy down here. Oh, Margaret's over there. When Margaret's back here, I'll give uh, the 1,000 points. <clears throat> Caden Primo's uh, very good job there at the end of that second as the Flyers are putting on a lot of pressure. Career versus the Flyers, 1-1-1 one, one, and one with a 1.91 goals against. Yep, I already gave out the baseball score, Spaceman. Ah, well, Flyers able to pinch that one in. Oh, tried to give it back to Brink, but it hopped over his stick. Oh, that's icing on the Canadians. So the Flyers will get an offensive zone draw. Got to get off. Got to get the offense going here. Down two goals. Getting some help tonight with the Maple Leafs. Uh, beating the Capitals right now, three to one. So the Flyers got to turn this around and try to get at least one out of this. This is, this is going to be another icing on the Canadians. Hey, Richie says four to one now. Thank you so much, Richie. Let's go, cool. Flyers got it. Like no urgency tonight. Playing down the competition, they played the the seven teams that were better than them, and they were they were fired up for every game. Eighteen, this Canadian Canadians are eighteen zero and two when leading starting the third period. Back to TK, centering pass. Uh, oh. Forrester fumbled it away. Konechny gets to the loose puck here. Zamula, the wrister is blocked. The Canadians clear that, uh, but Canadians send it right back down. Get it behind the flyer net here. Ferby. Shot. It's loose. It's a goal. They're calling it a goal. The Flyers score. I don't know what. I thought Primo had it, so I could see why he's yelling. Let's see. Palin gets to read the, fle the deflection. Can't, can't tell from that angle if the puck's still loose. Let's see. Oh, oh, puck's still loose. Yes, that's why it wasn't blown dead. Great job by the official, and it's a goal. The 
See you later. Celebrating the goal. Let's go. It's two to one. Oh, we're getting a uh, we're getting a challenge. Uh oh. Well, now they got to look at it. I mean, this is getting to be like the NFL where they review every touchdown. There was no kicking motion. Let's see. Oh, uh, that, that, that might be no goal. I don't think this is going to be a good goal. I think this is a kick and no goal. No, no goal. This thing kicking motion. Oh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, the Flyers are getting a power play out of this because there was one getting called. There was one getting called before the goal. So. And the Flyers are going on the Pico Power Hey, Matty M. Hey, all still picking my fly guys in the poll, even though we're down two. That was so close, but it was a kick. It was a kick. Let's see. Yeah, that's a kick. That's a kick. Uh, if the Flyers win this game, do they close to the playoff spot? No, they do not. But it gives them a three-point advantage with nine with eight games to go. And the last game of the year for the Flyers is against the Capitals. So Flyers bring it in here. Whip it around the boards. Bring keeps it in. Konechny. Back to York. Back to Konechny. The shot is blocked. A, a defenseman was falling down, so he just clears it all the way down. 120 left to go on the advantage. Joy and Chang, yeah, we need a few more wins. Yep. Tip it plays it to the corner and nobody's there. What are we doing? Fifty-five seconds left on the advantage. Lawton all the way into the corner. Hands off to Farabee. Out to Zamula. Over to Tippett. The wrister saved by Primo. Lawton. Zamula. Over to Tippett. Back to Zamula. Oh, and it goes out the center ice. 25 seconds left. See, Lee says we got 18 likes on the stream. Awesome stuff, everybody. We really need to play a hard game. And the, at five seconds left on the advantage. Gonna go watch my Oilers game. Have a great game. Let's go, Flyers. Let's get it. Uh, that's incorrect. 
Brian, the game is Friday night. Flyers turn it over. Evans. It, it is in Brazil, but it's Friday night. That one sent all the way down. That's icing. 15.28 to go here in the third. But welcome in, everybody. We got 16 people watching. We got 18 likes on the stream, 20 votes on the poll. Connect me. Fires, and that one's deflected up and out of play. That would have been huge to make it two to one there. When it goes over, when it goes overturned like that, it just takes all the momentum out of you. That one flipped out of the Canadian bench. So we'll see where they put this pace. We'll see where they put this face off. Flyer fans with the look on their face. Young man, that's exactly how I feel right now. Oh, Good thing the Flyers were back, or that would have been a breakaway for Montreal. Brink is checked here at center ice. And it's a turnover. Nope, now turnover again. Brink will bring it in and dump it down low. Fourteen thirty-five to go here in regulation. Frost brings it up to center. He'll bring it in. Connect needs a shot. Nice save there by Primo. It's in. This time it is in. I'm not sure who deflected that one, but it's, now it is two to one. I think it's Forrester. We'll see. I think he was shaking his head no. So he didn't maybe he didn't get it. Maybe uh Connectney got it. Connect the, the, the shot there by Primo. I think it's Frost, actually. Montreal's challenging for offsides. Torch is shaking his head, so the top one the top guy is fine. I need to see the guy down at the bottom of the screen. I think it's onside. I, I don't know. If they're challenging it, it, usually offside gets overturned. 
Uh, Phillies, Phillies are going to uh, finish second in the division and make it to the NLCS again. But I have them losing to the Braves in the NLCS. Nope, it's not going to be allowed. This is this is nonsense. That's two goals that have been disallowed. We'd be tied. They got to check the time on the clock. They got to check a whole bunch of stuff here. No. This isn't this isn't good. <laughs> They're trying to make it sound like this is good news. There's no goal. Offside. Still two nothing. This game's over, fellas. Are you a Mets fan? Yes, I am. I don't have the Mets making the playoffs, but being better than they were last year. Winning anywhere from 80 to 83 games. Two goals disallowed, or we'd be tied at two. And here come the Canadians. Shot is wide of Harrison. York flips it out to center. Montreal has it, though. Harrison will play it over to Sandheim. Over to Forrester. But throws it out to center with nobody there. Flyers keep that one in. Oh, Paling had a hop over his stick. Over to Johnson. This. Oh, tried the center one. Zamula down low to Hathaway. Paling's got it behind the net. Back to Farabee behind the net. Looking for an outlet. Johnson. No shooting lane. Skates it out. Farabee, over to Zamula, back over to Johnson. I'll just play it down low. Oh, penalty on Montreal. Oh! What was this? Uh, better starting pitching, Brian. Very poor, very poor starting pitching. Uh, now, what hurts that is Senga's out. Uh, so we don't know how long he's going to be out, unfortunately. So I was hoping they would have went after Montgomery. Richie says five to one Leafs. Flyers are getting the help they need, but not taking care of business. <clears throat> but let's see let's check over in on Fitzy see how he's doing yep UConn starting to blow San Diego State out
Well, they're winning. They're winning. I don't think it's final yet. Nine minutes left to go. They're up by four goals. <coughs> Darkness says, what's going on? Two nothing. Yeah, it's been two nothing since the first period. The Flyers have had <coughs> two goals this period disallowed. Flyers win the draw. York's got it. Over to Tippett. Back to York. Back over to Tippett. This the one timer's blocked. That goes out of play. York's got it now over to Tippett. Down low to Forrester. Oh, I hit the post. Connecting hit the post. Lawton now has it. Holds. Back out to the point. York, the shot deflected just wide. York's got it. Flyers keep it in. A minute 10 left on the advantage. Tip it. Down low to Konechny. Looking. And Primo makes a save. 105 left on the advantage. 11.44 to go here in the third. Train says if the Leafs win, it helps us. Yes, it does. Connecty was wide open and he hit the post. Flyers win the draw. Zamula over to Farabee. This is the second unit on the ice. Paling, uh, nice save there by Primo. Bring comes up with it. Oh, around the other side. Nobody's there. Zamula had to go back for it. 40 seconds left to go on the advantage. Brink overskates it, but Zamula pinches it in and it goes up and out of play. Need this win tonight. Last three starts for Primo. He's 2-1 with a 2.00 goals against, but a 94.3 save percentage. Flyers win the draw. York over to Lawton. Down low to Konechny. Centering pass. Hopped over a stick and keep uh, kept in 14 seconds. Lawton's got it. The shot. Hit Konechny. Tip it back to York. Over to Lawton. To Forrester, that shot's wide. And the power play is over. Flyers are now 0 for 4 on the power play. Atkinson brings it in. It hit something in the bench area. We're past the midway point of the third. Still two nothing Habs.
Let's take a look at the scores. Five, still five to one, Toronto. Uh, Ottawa still leads Chicago two nothing. Let me make sure that's true. The Islanders lead uh, the Panthers three to two with seven minutes to go. Pittsburgh leads Columbus three to two with five minutes to go. Carolina leads Detroit starting the third period. St. Louis leads Calgary three to two, ten and a half minutes to go there in the second. San Jose and Minnesota tied at one, seven minutes to go in the second. Vegas and Winnipeg ten minutes to go in the second, uh, one one. Rangers and Avalanche are scoreless. 11 and a half minutes to go in the first. Edmonton and L.A. Uh, Edmonton leads one nothing there. 12 minutes to go in the first. And the other three games, or the other, yeah, three games, Dallas and Vancouver, Nashville and Arizona, and Anaheim and Santa uh, Yeah, Santa Heim. Anna, Santa Heim. Anaheim and Seattle. Flyers dump it in. Montreal gets it back out to center. Couturier back in. We'll we'll dump it into the corner. You got to stop playing dump and chase when you're not getting any of the loose pucks. And they bat it in, and it's – oh, they wave it off. They wave it off. They say no goal. Play, they said played with a hide stick, so no goal. So it's still 2 nothing. Before that. Let's see. Yes, it was played with a high stick. Good call by the official. It would have been a it would have been a Montreal goal. Let's see. <laughs> no go. Yep. Montreal wins it and sends it down into the Flyers' end. Nine minutes to go here in regulation. Oh, tried to spring paling, but intercepted. Montreal still does not have a shot this period. York has it. Club the pass. No urgency either. You're down two goals with eight minutes supply. Let's go.
Now the puck goes out of play. Saved by Harrison to keep it 2 nothing. See, sorry, C. Lee. Just saw this. I'm all pumped up on coffee. A quick goal would be great. So technically, that's the first shot Harrison has faced this period. Canadians win the draw. Matheson saves Erickson the rebound. And Erickson covers up again. Is Tippett on the rink? Uh, I don't think he's on the ice at the moment. Let me see here. Couturier. Right now they're only showing the face-off circle. Uh, no, he's not on the ice at the moment. No need to panic just yet. There's seven and a half minutes to play. You're down two goals. Turn it over in front. Johnson, get up. Man, that should be a penalty on the Flyers. Played back in, so the uh, Canadians are offside. Nineteen fifteen in shots. Neither team has hit twenty. Now we're getting now we're getting all kinds of delays every ten seconds here. Maple Leafs so with that five to one lead with a minute to play. And I just lost the game. My internet is still working, but I just lost the game broadcast.
It says the game is blacked out in your area. <laughs> How did I just lose the rights to the game? Sorry, looking for... Nope, it's saying it's blacked out in my area. Don't know why. Yeah, I've been watching. I get all Philadelphia channels. Why? Why am I being blacked out now? It says event. Yeah, strange. Exactly. Washington lost at least. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still stinks, though. All right, so I don't know how far behind I am on the live stream, but I did find a... It's acting like a laxative. Well, coffee will do that to you. Yep, at least the Leafs one, yep. Connecting a shot, that one goes wide. I'm about 30 seconds behind. Lawton, the Konechny, will drop it back. Sanheim, over to York, over to Konechny, backhander. Matheson knocks it down, and the Habs will clear. Nope, they don't clear. Konechny, over to Sanheim. Back over to York. Back to Sanheim. To Konechny, looking for a lane. The saw is high and wide. Let me see if I, lo I logged out and logged back in. Let me see if I can get the game back.
Tip it. Oh, deflected by Harris. Nope, saying it's blacked out in my area. Don't get it. All right, Johnson's got it here for the Flyers. I have 420 left on the clock. Zamula from the red line and in. Turn this down a little bit. York keeps it in. Farabee. Over to York. The shot. It bounces in. Nope. Stayed out. Four, just under four minutes to go. Flyer still down 2 nothing. Frost cuts to the middle. Waits the shot and they score. Oh, no, it didn't go. My bad. I thought it went. Kirby holds, waits, fired, save, rebound, trying to bank it in, and it's not in. My bad, everybody. I thought that was in. I had a wide open net, and he missed it. Right there, and he missed it. How did he miss it? Goaltender was way out of the net. Did I? Did I what? I missed it. I, I said it. I said it was a goal, and it wasn't a goal. Teams will play four on four. Darkness, do the Mets play the Jays? Yeah, sometime this year. I don't know when. <laughs> you're stressing me out. I'm sorry. I just presume that with a wide open net, you're going to be able to put it in. So we're going to have some open ice here with four on four action. Uh, Flyers did pull the goalie, so it's like a five on four now. York's got it. He'll take the shot, gloved by Primo. Matheson comes up. He's got the empty net, and they score. That's 3 nothing with 2.55 to go. The fly no offense, guys. The Flyers announcers have to stop complaining about when penalties aren't called. They miss penalties on both sides all the time. Uh, that's all she wrote. You know, you, you, they've had two goals disallowed this period. 
I mean, that, that, that killed all momentum there. Okay, having both goals disallowed. Here comes Suzuki again. And we'll go to the backhand. It's pushed wide. See, Lee says 19 thumbs up. Let's go. Didn't see this coming for this game. Nope. Exactly. You want to also have an open net. The next five games, Flyers on Saturday play Chicago. The Islanders on Monday, Buffalo on the 5th, Columbus on the 6th, and Montreal again on the 9th. What's up, Fitzy? Is your stream done? Oh, it is. They got to win a few more games, yep. Well, this, this should have been one of those games. 125 to go. Tip it to Forrester. Back to five on five. Connect me. Then he missed the target. Tip it on the side. I, th I don't think so. And he scores. I'll be, I'll watch. They're, they're going to look at this one again. Let's look. Oh, they're not showing the replay. The, the puck went in. UConn blew it open, eighty-two to fifty-two. Hey Thomas, no overtime. Nope, it wasn't hockey. Dropping by to like the stream, pool. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Number six, Clemson beat number two, Arizona. And like Tom said, UConn beat San Diego State. There's too many replays. This one's going to stand, but too little too late. Fitzy says, wasn't it three to one earlier? No. The Flyers have had two goals disallowed here in the third period. Going to be live here in a couple minutes again for some more baseball action. Uh Colorado clears this one all the way down. Not enough for icing, though. 40 seconds left in the period. Forrester brings it in. Turn this down. Yikes. MLB Network is loud.
Flyers were unlucky there. Yep. You made it to 20. And it goes in, and it's 4-1. to one. So the Flyers play one of the worst teams in hockey and lose 4-1. to one. They play one of the best teams in the NHL the other night and lose in overtime, 6-5. Six to, six to five. Dwayne says, wow, that hurts. Yep. And that'll be it, everybody. A horrible game. Flyers did not show up tonight until the third period. And then they... A couple of the goals are disallowed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Once again, we will be live, overconfident and underprepared. Exactly, see, Lee? Exactly. Drain says, thanks for the stream. See you next time. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. 20 likes on the stream, so thank you all once again. Really appreciate that. And I will be doing the Diamondbacks and Rockies game if anybody wants to hang out and talk some baseball. So we'll see you guys next time, though. Thanks again, everyone.